สวัสดีค่ะพ่อแม่พี่น้องเหนื่อยไหมคะจากวันนี้ไม่เหนื่อยเนาะเพราะทุกคนหัวใจนักสู้จริงๆเพื่อไม่ให้เป็นการเสียเวลาก็ขอพูดเป็นภาษาอังกฤษเลยนะคะ Ladies and gentlemen, to all our foreign press and media and our experts, we would like to express our deepest condolences for those who lost their lives today. The first, คุณสุพจน์บุญรุ่ง Second, คุณธนศักดิ์รัตนคด Third, คุณสัทธาเสดาน And the last, a police officer, Pierre Chai Parawat, Kun Sutheb Turk Suban, secretary to the PDRC, expressed about what happened today. He revealed when the CMPO announced that they were determined to reclaim certain rally site today, with tens of thousands of police force. We decided to go protect the area. This morning, we departed in peace, without arms. We even carried out inspection to ensure that nobody had any weapons on them. 400 to 500 supporters stayed overnight at the government house, and we went to join them this morning. We continue to demonstrate peacefully. Without violence or armed, the police try to negotiate with us to reclaim the Pisanulog side of the government's house. We rejected their proposal because, as we told them, we have the constitutional right to demonstrate peacefully and without arms. After negotiation, the police return with another offer. To reclaim r a s h a d a m n e r n o g Avenue, however, our representatives told them frankly that we were demonstrating against Ying Lak Shinawat and her government, so we could not return the r a s h a d a m n e r n Avenue to them. We could only return the area under one condition: if the CMPO announced that Ying Lak. Would never return to government's house to claim the PM seat again. Once we heard the gunshot from s a p a n p a n f a r area, we couldn't help but go to the area. The supporter with us wanted to run over to rescue the group at p a n f a r so we decided to sit down at Makawan and waited for the information. PDRC core leader Sam Din of the Dharma Army was at the scene, but he told Kun s u t h e b that he had everything under control, as they were negotiating, negotiating with police officer named Ying Yot. First, he requested one traffic lane to be open, to which the demonstrators agree. But then the officer returned and asked for all the lanes to be cleared. However, the demonstrators refused, as they were negotiating. Kun Samdin told Kun s u t h e b that around 11:40 a.m., the police started invading the demonstration area and started dismantling tents and barriers, while the demonstrators were sitting down and praying. The police also started to use force and violence against the demonstrator. Tear gas was used, then rubber bullets, then live ammunition. Then an unidentified party started shooting from Wat b a r i n a y o k At the point, everything turned into chaos. One of the police officer. Recognized Dr. s o m g i e t as a frequent rally speaker, so they decided to arrest him. But he managed to escape from the police eventually, who had forgotten to lock the arrest vehicle. The police were equipped with firearms and protective gears, while the rest of the protesters at Makawan heard an explosion, followed by reports. 
that some police officer have been injured. The peaceful, unarmed citizens did not attack the police. It was the law enforcement that attacked the innocent citizens first. We also found an abandoned car with a Barata gun and an empty magazine cartridge. Other items were found in the car along with Pua Thai Party campaign leaflet. Channel 11, the government channel, was falsely reporting that our supporters were armed with war weapons and heavy artillery. We were not armed. We are actually at a disadvantage because we don't have the free TV on our side. Since Ying Lak proclaimed the state of emergency under the emergency decree, all the violence that has taken place, drive-by shootings, bombings, murders, has been at the hand of Ying Lak's government. PDRC core leader Tawan Seniam has filed a lawsuit against the legitimacy of Ying Luck's emergency decree. The court will decide on this issue tomorrow. However, the court already ruled on the 31st of January that our demonstrations were peaceful, unarmed and in accordance with our constitutional rights to demonstrate. Therefore, previous state CMPO's, CMPO's orders were illegal and invalid. The court also ruled that at the time that the defendant, Ying Lak Shalom and the National Police Adun could only issue order under the decree in good faith and that any order must be proportionate and on a non-discriminal faith. We will also be filing a criminal suit against defendant Ying Lak, Shalom and Abdun for all the murders that had happened. Ying Lak, you are brutal and cruel. You lied on national TV, blaming the Muon Maha Prachashon for your inability to pay the farmers. You are despicable. You have blood on your hands and that blood will follow you for the rest of your life. You have cheated on farmers. You've made them commit suicide. Eleven farmers have died because of Ying Luck from the corruption of 130 trillion baht from the rice pledging scheme. She has not a single drop of remorse for the casualties because it wasn't her family that suffered. She still blames the innocent citizens for her own failure and corruption. This is why our fight to topple the Tuxens regime is true and just. Khun Suteb announced that the people will never surrender to Ying Lak and the Shinawat family. There will be no more negotiation. We will never bow down to the Shinawat again. We would prefer to die rather than suffer at the hands of the Shinawat. Too many of us have suffered and died because of their greed. We will fight until the very last of us is standing in this country, until our very last breath. We have nothing else left to lose because the Shinawat have deprived us of everything already. So from tomorrow onwards, we will intensify our battle so that we actually reach Ying Luck in person. The people will no longer tolerate Ying Luck. So tomorrow, we will go to the office of the Permanent Secretary of Defense led by Khun Suteb Turk Suban. We will travel by car. Our friends in nearby provinces and in Bangkok, please provide us with as much transportation as you can. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. at all stages, any type of vehicles are welcome. 
We will depart at 10:10 a.m. from every stages. If Ying Luck flees the Defence Ministry to the government's house, we will follow her there. We will pursue her everywhere, any time, anywhere, any place. We will not stand by at the stages any more. We are on the mission to follow and chase Ying Luck out of this country. So we'll see you all at the Defence Ministry tomorrow. This is the only way we will unseat Ying Luck and uproot the Tuxens regime once and for all. Thank you and good night. ขอบคุณค่ะก็สรุปภาพรวมของสถานการณ์ที่ได้เกิดขึ้นวันนี้ที่หน้าทำเนียบรัฐบาลค่ะที่จริงเมื่อเย็นเนี้ยตันก็ได้มีโอกาสฟังพี่น้องชาวนาขึ้นมาพูดบนเวทีนะคะหัวใจของพี่น้องชาวนานี่ยอดเยี่ยมและเป็นนักสู้จริงๆเลยค่ะและที่ประทับใจมากกว่านั้นก็คือถึงแม้ว่าที่ผ่านมาเนี่ยคุณยิ่งรักเองเนี่ยอาจจะลอดส้นตีนพวกเรามวลมหาประชาชนไปได้แต่ตันเชื่อว่าพรุ่งนี้คุณหนีส้นตีนชาวนาไม่ได้อย่างแน่นอนค่ะคุณยิ่งรักคุณจําไว้เลยพรุ่งนี้เราเจอกันและอย่านหนีลงรูไปอีกค่ะคุณยิ่งรักขอบคุณมากเลยค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะเชิญกลัวมากเลยฉันต้อง